gentlemen, welcome to Connect 360 Presents The People's Cast. I am King Bear in the building. Comedian CJ Trowers. Michelle K. The one and only Heavy Duty Cutie. Wow. A little bit better than last week, so yeah. Yeah. we'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> How's everybody's week this week? That was good. Yeah. That was good. Um, nothing major. Work. Took the kids trunk or treating at their school. That was interesting. My son didn't like his uniform. I mean, his costume compared to what the girls had on. Um, Who I was to, he? He was Olaf <laughs> from Frozen. He was uh, Anna and Anna and whoever mm-hmm. the other little girl is. Um, the so you guys Elsa. dressed up as white people. Basically. <laughs> I didn't pay. I didn't pick the costume. I didn't do none of that stuff. Okay. I just. I just had to be there to make sure that he was distracted while his mom was doing whatever PTO stuff was doing. Did he have so, a mask on or did you put white face on? No, nah, he had a oh, wow. <laughs> white face on. <laughs> Some no. people paint the kids. No. I don't know. He, had, he has a little. Yeah, dressed up as good It's a hat. That's <laughs> <laughs> so, so, a cute what? little cat. Yeah, dressed up as good credit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 100 plus. <laughs> he had a. No, I'm not straight. I'm not even saying He had a white hood. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> That's better. That's what I feel crazy saying. I just realized it was a white hood. Yeah, so yeah it's, white hood. It's, it's, it's a, a hood with the, with the face, yeah, with the little carrot nose on it. Oh, okay. And it comes up the right here, so it was like oh, his face. Okay. Okay. I'll show was you the picture. Was it the ones that had him like this and the little arms? He, he, he had the, his arms Yeah, out. his arms had like the little little sticks. The sti- oh, okay. So he didn't like that part because it was attached to his wrist. <laughs> well, oh, it was okay. like the bubbly one that's like There's bubble on the shoulders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, the, and this part is bubble with the buttons. And oh, the little okay. stick, like so the little, really the little branch. His, and his joints. He, he, he was two. He's two. Oh, he's two. Oh, okay. Might have looked cute. So it, it looked cute, but he just wasn't. He just don't like stuff on him. Like oh. I bought him. I went to New York, bought me a chain, bought him a chain. Like oh, we gonna kill it. It's father and son chain. Yeah. Mm. And then we do stuff together, and you know, wear the clothes and put the chain on. He's like, Daddy, I don't like it. Take it off. I'm like, Nigga, you know what's funny? I'm spending this damn chain. You gonna wear this chain? And a bracelet. He don't even want to bracelet nothing. You bought like it in the Bronx or in Manhattan? It don't matter. I bought it. I bought nah, it. Okay, matter, so, so I bought like it in the Bronx. Street, don't no, I was gonna say. No, I definitely go to Canal Street. Two for five. Two for five. Two for five. No, <laughs> it, it ain't no <laughs> term, but it's, it's a spot in the Bronx. For I, those I who don't know, New York Canal Street is the bootleg capital. Yeah, yeah definitely. Bags, yeah, I haven't been to Canal forever, but no, nah, definitely wasn't Canal. Bootleg muscle oils. <laughs> they got everything out there. Bootleg. They got bootleg boots. Like anything bootleg, they got bootleg. It's on Cat or Canal Street. Facts. Yeah. All right. What about you, Michelle? I didn't do nothing this weekend. I no. was, was kind of low key cleaning up. That's it. Okay. Shout out to them. <laughs> Uh, to them yeah, cow, you kind of miles. Them cow people, still, still. Say, huh? you still kind of miles. You still in the cleanup spirit. How about them cowboys? Oh wow! <laughs> uh, 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 I wish I had a round, 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 round. Nah, they That's they all won. What the See, fuck? I, I, I did it now it's done. Exactly. Now, the after whole all time, this time. The whole time I need you. <laughs> Motherfucker. What's part of the budget? Can we get batteries? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Now, watch when the show's over. It's going to work. So. Motherfucker. <laughs> you took the battery out, didn't you? Uh, you heard it in that show. My battery took one battery out there, motherfucker. I don't know. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, well, I, I had a. Uh, Pretty much like you guys, a normal type of week. Nothing really to report. Um, strange people. Well, I, I ain't going to say strange, but people who don't live in my house and eating food out the fridge and stuff like that. Um, still happening? Did they happen. replace those grapes? Huh? Did, did they replace those grapes? No. That was so, funny right there. Nah, we it was some bull. Really? Like, whenever my wife goes and gets me grapes, yeah. she usually gets me like two of the, the, the plastic things. Right, right. Because I, you know, I eat a lot of grapes. So there was two in the fridge. So the one I told you that somebody had opened up and then put the cover back on. Yeah. I talked to my daughter and she was like, well, yeah, mom bought me one and bought you one. <laughs> I'm like, oh, wow. Wait, that's no. That's not how that works. <laughs> that's not how that works ever. <laughs> and then I was like, if that was the case, why you put the cover back on it? Then? Like, if that was yours, why you put the cover back on? Right. Well, I wasn't sure which one was yours. Uh, oh, oh, the one with the cover. <laughs> 
<laughs> you ever had frozen <laughs> grapes before? Right there. Yeah. In the ground. Right. Summertime, that's the best shit ever. Yeah. I, I always take one of them and, and yeah, dump them in the, in the deep summertime. freezer and, mm-hmm. yeah, and I'll chew on them like that. Um, yeah, then I talked to the wife and she was like, yeah, I bought you one and bought her one. And I was like, when in the history of our marriage and niggadom have I only got one pack of grapes? Well, she'd had three. Right. Okay. And she goes, she didn't. yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I'm still out. Mm. I don't want to be writing out. I want to be... I would have been wrong to have two sets of grapes. So you didn't so, send it to Walmart? I'm like, go get me the other bag. Nah, my grapes can't be found in Walmart. Where you go? So like the... I got to go to Sam's. Which is essentially the same thing. What's the closest thing. one? Douglas one? Yeah, yeah. Right off of Highway Five. Yeah, because Hiram got crap stuff in their store. And small, it's like bootleg. Yeah, it's small. Yeah, but yeah, Sam's close. Yeah, they got, and I, I love them out of Sam's. And I was like, what, why, why are you? I always get two. And then we got two, two fully functioning fridges because mm-hmm. the old fridge that was in the kitchen we moved to the garage. Mm-hmm. So I it's have a the kids. Or freezer? It's a full fridge. Oh. You had the, yeah. the French door one that was in the yeah. kitchen? That's in the garage, and we got the new one in the um, in the nice. kitchen. Okay. So we tell the kids, put your stuff out there. In the garage. In the garage, okay. in that fridge. I mean, fully functioning. So however you want to keep it, that's your stuff. But if it hits this fridge, <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny, I heard the wife telling, telling my daughter earlier today, she's like, yeah, I, I know what you're saying, baby girl, but, you know, now... Uh, he thinks every time something goes in that fridge, it's his. <laughs> and I was like, damn right. <laughs> so I get offended when stuff takes off. Taxation, the shit crossed the border, niggas. It's mine. <laughs> in fact, I went in there uh, yesterday, over the fridge, and I was like, Voss water? I don't drink Voss water. What is this? You know that big, yeah, weird? I, Voss, uh, I was like, what the? Overpriced water? I was like, what is this? Oh, that shit is. I was like, obviously somebody made a mistake. So I started to take a sip, but I was like, I don't know. It might be alcohol or something. I don't know what it yeah. is. But, yeah, that's how I am. If it's in that fridge, I yeah. It got to be something I don't like for me not to go after. Mm. So, but other than that, you know, normal week. Uh, got scared to death out of the damn uh, thinking there was a mouse in the house. I was telling did you walk in there around that one yet? Mm-mm. All right, I'm going to tell it real quick. So, the wife went downstairs, and she was letting the dogs out, and she thought she saw a mouse. So, she said that we needed to get mouse traps. Well, being the geek techie person that I am... You got lasers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, you know, man. Here ain't knows. Yeah, because yeah. I'm not country, so I can't deal with the you know the snap trap and then and you gotta pick, you gotta it, pick up. it up yeah. and the mouse is still squeezing, trying to get out of it and shit. And they smell. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I can't deal with it. So on Amazon they had these cool traps that you put peanut butter on one side and you put a bunch of batteries in it. And when the when the mouse goes into the front door, it goes around a little a little door, and there's a proximity sensor on the top, and then there's an infrared sensor on the side. And as soon as it crosses that sensor, it sends ten thousand volts to his body. Shock gone out of here. How many batteries does it take? Uh, eight you uh eight double A's. Damn, That's a lot of batteries. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully yeah. they recharge. Yeah, I don't care if they recharge it a shot. <laughs> it's the worth same it. size. Where your dog can get in there. Cause no, 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 no. It's a, a really okay, tiny, okay. tiny hole. Right. Um, pause somehow. Yeah. But um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, so I put the I put it's and it was like sixty bucks for this trap. Right. So instead of buying one, because she said she saw it in a particular place, oh, the mind started going. Ah, they might be somewhere yeah. else. Put so the, I bought four of them bastards. See, how do I know four? <laughs> Logic, four corners. So yeah, four I put them corners. all That's over the man. all over the basement, right? And the way they work, they look like Ghostbuster traps. Yeah. So, uh, they're kind of trapezoidal. Okay. Like they come down at an angle. But um, what happens is when when a mouse is dead inside, the top of it lights green to let you know something's in there. Oh. So I'm like, all right, cool. I put them down. First day, nothing. The wife goes down today, and she's like, um. Uh, she goes to feed the dogs because I forgot. Yeah. So she texts me just like this. Uh, you Didn't you say the light, uh, if the light's green, that means something's in the trap, right? Yeah. 
And I'm like, oh, oh my God. Like, all the anxiety is, like, completely bubbling over. Right. And so I saw a text, and I'm like, which one? And she won't text back. I'm like, is it green? What's going on? Won't text back. I called her, like, three times. She didn't answer. Like, on the fourth time, I called her, and she was like, oh, no, I was just asking if it was green. Like, I'm in here panicking because I'm like, I got to go deal with a fucking You probably thought that she touched it and she got electrocuted. <laughs> she had to respond <laughs> back. <laughs> like, oh. Casualty of war. If that happens, because I didn't tell her to touch it. So yeah. I can't put that on me. Life insurance. So, but, you know, I had me really anxious about it because I'm thinking, oh, my God, now I got to go deal with this. But... None of them turn green yet. Okay. And I think it's a gecko in the house she saw, but we'll uh, see. Gecko things. They, yeah. they eat little bugs. Yeah, I like the geckos. I, I name them when they come in the house. I'm like, yo. One they, syllable names. I'm like, Bob, that, Fred, John. There's a spider right there. Bob, Go off there and eat that spider. Yeah. You know what I mean? But don't eat the spider in the front because I like him. You what? Hey, Joe. Yeah, we got this huge. I, didn't, I told you. That you name your spider? I named that one. I've never seen a spider that big in my life, and I've been in Why'd many places it? all over the world. Why'd you you don't kill something that looks like this, man. It looks like it came off of Lord of the Rings. Like, it is insane. First of all, when it, like, when it ah, spread its legs, I'm, I'm, it's as you, wide as, like, when its legs are spread, it's wider than my hand. You said that to huh? a nigga crawling you. Want to you want to get rid of it? First of all, his rent check's clear, mm. and you do not get rid of people who pay their Okay, you said that to a nigga come inside and be on your shoulder like, what up? Bro, mm, then I, yeah. It's At that, that point, then he owns the mortgage. Oh, <laughs> I was about to say, it's all fun and games. Then they can start right. coming. Okay. Like, yo, know, it'll be like... over. If and he's right outside my window, right outside my office Fuck window. That. I so if I close. if I go in my office and I he open the window, he ain't there. He's uh, so everything right. in the house is gonna cause me to jump. Everything. And they come around your the screen fan like blow man. Me. Oh. I'm like, so <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? He got to go. He got to die today. He got to die now. <laughs> I'm proactive. Yeah. He's gonna wait till nigga act act on him. He's plotting right now. Yeah, he been watching your moves. That's what nigga doing. He's like, oh, that nigga at one thirty. He's right here. <laughs> at one thirty five. Hell yeah. We've been watching each other's moves because I'm telling you, he, I, yo, he caught a huge grasshopper the other day, like one of them big flat ones that look yeah. like leaves. Yeah. And a grasshopper was struggling. He was like, nah, don't do that. And I seen him put two arms around him. He's like, he's like don't do that. <laughs> he was like, him, dog. Let, let me kiss you. How, 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 don't do that. Mm -mm. All right, they're called. Um, you got to record that for Joru. I, I actually did a short. It's just called Jaru. Uh, <laughs> I said a big spider to get you. <laughs> Whatever. That was like, what would I be without you? <laughs> he, he looked like he talked like Jaru. No? He's so huge. Yeah, I'm cool um, with that shit. But it's a Joru spider, and they're actually an invasive species from Japan, I think. Yeah, they got a COVID spider. spider. Um, nah, there's like a whole survey going on in Georgia right now, like uh, Georgia Tech is doing it. And they want everybody to take pictures of this thing and then send it to them because they're trying to study. Yeah. They know they're invasive because they're not from here, but they're trying to see are they in are they endangering natural species? Are they helping with bug problems? What are they doing? Gotcha. So this spider is huge. And it has it has the 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 back of the body is about like that long. It's like almost an inch and a half long. And it's black and green with a big red center on it. Like this, this thing is huge. I'm telling you. I don't know. Red usually mm, means yeah. poison. Yeah, but this. Right. Well, He's according to it. all the all the reports, they're not poisonous, and they're typically shy. Like they they won't mess with people. <laughs> shy spiders. <laughs> they're, they're like, hey, he saw me. Like, hey. Hey. Where pimples be like, yo, he don't bite. Nigga, he has teeth. He <laughs> bites. <laughs> This is the white report, okay? Oh, okay. This is the white report. Because the nigga oh, report says, a, no, kill it. Care. Yes. <laughs> Long get, time ago. Get the spray, kill, he spray he, it, and run back in the house. He told me in the present tense, Bob would have been dead yeah. a long time ago. Yeah, that's Joe. The Joe, Joe, I'm sorry. Bob, Joe, Bob is the guy. Joe would have died a long time ago. I'm sorry, I don't do bugs. So, oh, insects. But it, it is, but I, I literally watch to see what it keeps in its pantry. And this thing is... serious. Yeah. He be catching frogs, be catching geckos, grasshoppers. Like, he ain't playing. And you want to keep this nigga alive? Oh, you got a so, creek. I forgot you got a creek on the... Oh, on the drop-off. Yeah, drop-off. Yeah. But the way that they get around, these types, when they're babies, they're the ones that create the big-ass parachute, and then they let the wind take them wherever oh, the hell they're going to go. Ah. So, wherever these were released from, 
One landed right there in the bushes in front of my house, and I got two that are on the trees at the drop off. Mm. So, and I've seen them out there, and I bought out the BB gun and I was taking shots at them. So, but the one in front of the house. So you buy Joe? Yeah. Because, see, those ain't going nowhere. Those if the, they disappear. The, yeah. f- the field spiders over the house spider. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. Not my spiders. <laughs> Not around my spiders. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, it's it's crazy. I I gotta have you guys over so you're gonna take a look. Nah, yeah, let me know. Yeah, I'm good. Pictures are good. Pictures are good. Video, we're fine. We're fine. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'll probably put a link in the description of this video so you guys can see it directly off the short. Because I literally made a short about it, and like it's not zoomed in. It's that's me holding the, the phone up near the thing, and it's freaking huge, dude. It ain't shy. It's so huge. Right. Black camera try. <laughs> No. And its web is strong as hell. Yeah. Because he put a, a piece of the web like on my my uh, my walkway, my what are they called? The rails. Yeah. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna mess with him. So I thought I was gonna take a finger and pluck it off of there, and then he have to rebuild the web. And I'm sitting there, and it sounded like a guitar string. It was like foam, 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 foam. I'm like, what the? <laughs> like it would not break. Like, I went inside and got a, a block of wood, and I was like, yeah! And it was, like, bouncing back over it. Like, nah, this thing is Spider-Man for real. It couldn't be that strong. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Everything when they say that spider webs are, have have Super a stronger strong. tensile yeah. strength than steel, yeah, yeah, this one is the truth. Yeah. Like, I really had to swing to get it off of there. I've heard that. And then I felt bad. Because then I was like, man, I didn't kill it. How did kill it? Kill it well. Yeah, the she wife keeps saying, like- uh, Joe got to go. Because we need to hedge our, uh, edge our bushes, and he's literally, like, holding up part of the bush because part of his web is on it, and it's pulling the bush up. So the bushes are growing, and then the overgrowth part is, like, you can see it bent in front of the house because his web is pulling it. Nah, I but I know. like him. You okay. go old school. You get the hairspray and the, and the, and the yeah. fucking lighter. And burn my damn house down, right? Well, yeah, it's off. You know, <laughs> little sparks. That's when you piss Joe off, and now you got a squad in front of your right. house. Um, He'd take off running, or Joe end up being, you know, Josephette. Yeah. And I do that, and then a million of motherfuckers from squirting out that motherfucker. Now I don't know where they went. It's like arachnophobia, the movie. Exactly. Oh, that movie was crazy. That's just getting the crap out of me. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That was a real shit. Mm-hmm. Y'all didn't like arachnophobia? I did. I did. It was a good movie. Yeah. I call that. Yeah. I typically don't mess with them, but, you know. The, the enemy of my enemy is my friend kind of thing. Because mm-hmm. I could be dealing with the bugs and stuff, but... That's how I look at it. <laughs> I, get, I have less bugs, like little flies and stuff like that come to the house when I have spiders, like little webs by the door frames and shit. I'm like, all right. Once it gets too big, I you know, I, I bring it down. They're going to do another one anyway. You know? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like he's scared of it. He's like, nah, nah, I mean, so I, that's it. Uh, yeah, Mister, uh, run out there and, and go pick up rats with his bare fingers and whatnot. I said with a bag, but I'll get the rats. I ain't doing no bugs and insects. Ah, he's the only just, Negro I know that go outside run, and a rat will run down the street. He'll just get a garbage bag and stop him, pick him up, tie it off, and put him in the garbage. Yeah, dude, my kids will tell you I killed them shits and else. What part of the Bronx you from? South that's Bronx. what I asked them. Morris <laughs> Avenue. Man. Well, I say he from Morris Avenue, off Grand Concourse. He he saw that on Google Maps. Yeah. yeah. I <laughs> to the, the Chinese restaurant. We were like five dollars. <laughs> so, heavy duty, you got anything what's up this weekend for you, man? Not mm-hmm. much, man. I got a new branch that I gotta take care of. You know, I'm in the uh the financial well being with a partnership with uh, one of the major banks here in Atlanta. Okay. And they gave me a new branch. So um I'm excited. Crazy, met, right? met the staff and the met branch manager and have a meeting tomorrow. Usually I work from home on Monday, but uh, make an exception for this week. Okay. So we're uh, not far from Cascade. All right. So everybody had good weeks. Y'all ready to get the show going? Let's rock. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do All it. right. Without further ado, let's do it. And we give it back to you. The people. Today's topic, I think this is going to be a good one, y'all. 
All right. What priority are you or should you be in your household? In other words, let me. Yeah. <laughs> let me, let me clarify. That. Everybody's like, "What?" Okay. So if you're in a relationship with somebody and you live with somebody, okay, and you know, say if you're married, just dating or living with somebody, and you and them have kids, don't have kids, whatever. In your household, where should you sit as far as the hierarchical scale? Not just you know making demands and stuff like that, but when that person puts people in regard or things going on in the house, where would you stand? Well, I'm, you know, I'm, should you be before the kids? Should you be after the kids first. in front of them? I'm by myself, so I'm naturally first. And even when I wasn't, I think I should be first. You think you should be first? I think I should be first. Okay. So? <laughs> well, I am the only one in my home, so, yeah, I'll be first. But if I was, you know, had somebody, I would, they would be a priority. Because if they're the breadwinner and stuff like that, yeah, they'd be a priority. If they wasn't the breadwinner, would you still let them be first? Priority? Just depends on at that point. Oh, here comes the display. Grenade in the room. No, 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 no. But if you're taking care of the household and all that other stuff and I don't have to worry about that, then yeah, I still make you a party. What if you just can't be doing nothing? Yeah, I was gonna say what he said he wasn't a real one. 50-50? I'm with 50-50, but, you know. But who's the priority? I would, let me finish. <laughs> I said 50-50 <laughs> to a certain out. extent, though, because, like I said, um, it, it can't always be that equal. Mm-hmm. Right, but right. you can be, you can like, 30-70 yeah. or 60-40. Yeah. Uh, let me ask you this, if I may, Michelle. So if the dude moves into your house versus you moving into his house, is there a difference in priority? Even if it's 50-50. No. As long as they take they care of Well, no, because... I don't know. Because, well, because You're I had somebody living with me at one point, but they took over the house. You okay. know, as long as they are maintained. I don't want to be doing something that... If you're doing something that I can do, you're really not doing no service. So you have to really be kind of like doing a little bit more to me and I can respect that. I can definitely just you know, maintain the house and I give you that party. But if you're not doing none of that and So if there's a spider by your window, um, do you want this guy to be the man that like, alright, let me get out of here. Mm-mm. But Please what what spider. if he has the same fear as we you in trouble. Uh, we're gonna be in trouble because <laughs> somebody gotta get right? that spider. Huh? Somebody gotta I mean I will, we can work together to get it, okay. but it's gotta go. So what, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 Heavy whoa, whoa, duty, whoa. wait a minute. Wait. You never answered the question. You just went straight in, in inter, uh, interrogation. Excuse oh, me. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not interrogation. I'm just asking. Yeah, but you never answered it. Oh. What should you what well, should I was you waiting mean? for my turn. Oh. This is your turn. Whoa, whoa, we still, we still <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, we ain't going to gank up on people. Come since, on. Since I'm the only one in the household, then I'm the priority. Um, but if I was with a partner, then um, I would still consider myself as a priority. Okay. Now, we've all been with people or lived with people, mm-hmm. uh, whether long-term relationships or dating and stuff like that, or marriage and stuff like that. In those situations, were you the priority? No. That's one no. We got over there comedian CJ Travis. First one, no. Second one, yes. He's faking. I said, uh, I I said, said can we press that push <laughs> I said it right. But it's not working. I said it right. And in you, Shep? In my marriage, no. But in my last relationship, yes. Okay. So then in those type of relationships, you still felt you should be the the priority, right? Now, and, and when I'm saying priority, I'm not talking about uh, breadwinning or anything like that. I'm just talking about when it comes to being placed in regard. Like, <clears throat> if the person's going to get something to eat, um... Should they consider you absolutely at the house when they get something? Hell to eat? Yeah. yeah. Or if there's something going on and they want to take the the kids somewhere, should they run it by you or yes. invite you to it and stuff like or, that? Or at least give us a heads up. Yes. I'm, okay. That's my answer. Yeah. I'm, absolutely. I'm, that was that was. They run it by you. 
Yeah, like, does it hey, I'm getting ready to. Kids, does it conflict yeah, yeah, with our kids? Schedule? Both of y'all kids, not just his kids or her kids. Yes, you could run about me, but if you're just saying you want to take the kids out, I'm not going to say you got to call me every time you're doing something with the children. You just want to do it. But just to let you know where they at. But but for safety look, purposes, okay, in case of emergency. Like, sure. Are you going to call? Post them. Doing too much. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, say that a little bit loud. <laughs> Yeah, because if that's who you with, then okay. you trust them. Like when my husband ex husband used to yeah. get my daughter, I didn't call him all the time. Mm. I didn't, you know, you know, I probably check to say, hey, how y'all doing? <clears throat> but I didn't even do that because that's their time together. I have them when I'm with them. I don't need you calling me all the time. What y'all doing? Why? When you guys are together or well, when you guys we're split? together now, we're not together yet. Yeah, but when right. they, but when they're in the household, you know, you really still don't have to. Maybe I'm going to take the kids over here to the mall. Just do it. You can call me at the mall and be like, hey, you know, if I'm calling you or something like that, and you're like, oh, yeah, we at the mall. But, you know, you know, you you trust your spouse and stuff like that, then, I mean, calling all the time. And so when you went to the supermarket, would you call and say, hey, I'm at the supermarket. Did you, do you want anything? Or no, you just I tend to get them something because I know what they want. Okay. You know, so mm-hmm. I'm automatically just get it. Okay. So I'm not going to do that. You know what he likes. Right. right. And if I'm in there and I know we short or something, That's, that's a flaw it. right there. Mm-hmm. No, you'd be surprised, girl. You'd be surprised. Oh, I know. Oh, trust me. I know. I believe it. What about you, Cliff? I'm, that's the answer. Like, that's the same thing for me. It's considered. Uh, it's, ran, it's ran by each other. Make sure it's not conflicting each other's time. Because I may want to do something. Or I may have something that I want to have planned to do with mm-hmm. myself. You can plan it in the morning before y'all leave? Huh? You couldn't plan all that That's what you mean? You talking about if you living together? Yeah. Of course. If you living together, then sure. You talking about that stuff. Sometimes things happen. Like, if you post, if I'm expecting to be back at a certain time, it's like, like, oh, you know, because if I'm at home cooking dinner or whatever it is that you got, I'm grabbing something on the way home and you're not there yet, and I'm like, well, where y'all at? And you're like, oh, I'm at such and such. It's, it's, that con- it's a consideration. Correct. It's not checking in. Correct. Correct. It's, like it's consideration. Correct. Like, oh, by the way, we, you know, what you at. So just, it's communication more than anything. All right, so would there be a problem if uh, that person and the kids want to eat something and they decide to pick it up or cook it and then don't say anything to you or check with you or anything like that? Is that going to be a problem? About what what they got? Yeah. Like, say they're out, you know, and they're doing their thing. Did I get and something? you might be at the house. Did I get something out of, out of the situation? Right. No, no, no. You don't get anything out of it. Oh, then that's a like, problem. Like, they're out. <laughs> they're if, I, out if I got and, something and out of it and, I, and they didn't ask me what I specifically want, I wouldn't trip. But if I if they eating and I come home and there's nothing in the refrigerator, the oven, or none of that shit for me, it's a problem. So oh. I, I'm not picky. So as everybody know the only thing I like is fucking McDonald's. So right. I was else, literally about to say McDonald's. McDonald's, <laughs> it's a no go. No matter what the fuck, I don't care if I'm starving, nigga. Just, yeah. yeah, I'm the same one. I don't. I can't do McDonald's. Mm-hmm. So anything else is a go for the most part. So if you give me something, I'm easy. All right, cool. Um, I'm not gonna eat certain things anyway at this mm-hmm. point, so they know what it is to get. That's so fine. How upset would you be if they did that? They went out and ate, and they knew you were cooking, and you're cooking at home, and they came back. To the house and said, "Oh, we just ate." I've never had that situation. I'm gonna, gonna communicate. Hey, we already ate mm-hmm. before I even do any of that. A majority of the time, I'm gonna say before I do the shit. Okay, but they yeah. already knew you were gonna cook, but they didn't care. They wanted. Well, McDonald's. that's different. If you know I'm gonna cook and you agreed to me doing it, and you get something that I didn't consider. Mm-hmm. You definitely gotta call and let me know. I would be pissed. Yeah, yeah be but pissed. what if what if they don't know you're gonna cook? Well, he said we already had it. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know me. I got to dirty it uh, yeah, up, though. Yeah. I'm not going to just yeah, leave you know, it I'm surprising them? Yeah. I'm if not you're doing, surprising them. I'm not, not going to surprise them with food. No. It's <laughs> not going to happen. I, it's not a labor of love, so I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm just going to cook my family spaghetti. No. Hey, Wait, y'all niggas hungry? That literally would be a labor of love. No, no, no. I'm about? not talking about, I'm not passionate about it enough for me to do it as a surprise. Like, I would love to cook them. No. Hey, I'm about to make this. Y'all, y'all, y'all gonna eat it? Okay. <laughs> you're not, I'm you're not a monster, dude. If I'm not, yeah, bro. If I'm not, if y'all not, I don't want to waste my time. <laughs> <laughs> it's your kids and your woman, dog. What I'm you saying. Mean? But they, they all picky as fuck. My kids are picky as shit. They don't agree on nothing. No, nothing. To the choir, man. So, right, exactly. So, I'm just like... Picky, picky is make what's... What, uh, yeah, we know your ass picky around. as shit. Yes. <laughs> but they are, four use. <laughs> so, I'm, so I'm like, nah, we gonna eat this? We all unison, at least 
Three out of four? All right, good. We're going to eat that shit. That's about it. All right. Let's step the game up. Mm-hmm. What if it was a vacation and they all wanted to go somewhere? You know, even if the kids weren't old enough, if if your significant other had a way of coaxing the kids to want to go somewhere that they wanted to go, and it's somewhere you just do not want to go, would you be upset if they were like, eh, well, we're going because we want to go here? They go by themselves. They already done it twice. <laughs> Disney, <Wow. laughs> Disney World. I don't like Disney sad. World like that. I go. They go on again. They were like, are we going for the... Have at it. So you won't go to Disney World with your family, with your kids? I don't like that. What kind of monster? You it ain't about you. No, that's because you are <laughs> fucking Captain Tom, 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 Tom. Captain Orlando, nigga. You're the advocate for Orlando the, and its economy. I am universal. All right. To, to they, my not, they, don't want to go to, they don't want to go to Universal. That's the point. So I will be trapped and tortured with Mickey all fucking day because they don't give a fuck about movies and Universal. Yo, they got, they got Star Wars there, man. They got Avatar stuff. Like, Disney they, got a lot of intellectual properties, dude. They, I know. They own, I only want to go to Universal and maybe Epcot just for, the, for shits and giggles. Exactly. They don't want to do those. They, they want to do know strictly yet. They don't Disney. know about they mom Epcot do. yet. They mom do. So that's what I'm saying. That's where they're going to spend the majority of time and it's, it's going to piss me off. So I'm not even going to go. So then that doesn't sound like a whole lot of regard. For me, no, no. Because they, y'all yeah, can at least throw. Yeah, they don't have regard for you. They for that, have, for that, we for that trip. Here. Yeah, no. Everything else, they're they not know. They're thinking about daddy. They're not calling daddy. No. <laughs> Disney World is my McDonald's. <laughs> Damn. I don't, I don't want that. Have you been? Yeah, but a bunch of times. Have you been with your kids? Yes, not with them. I took, I took Jasmine. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's not about it. That's not about it. There comes more kids coming out the woodwork. No, no, no. You know what I'm saying? I, I did it before before they was born. So with Jasmine. Before they were born. Jasmine. I took Jasmine. I took yeah, Jasmine. Jasmine got that gap on there. And, and um, yeah, Jasmine got a yeah, big, big gap. ass gap. It's 11 years. So mm-hmm. um, Jasmine and and D and my, the first time and the second time, them and my mom, back to back summers. So I was good on that shit. And once then I was like, all right, it's out of my system. But it's clearly not out of their system. So y'all can go without me. Well, you got babies. They haven't even been yet, right? right? They've been. They've well, been. They've been. This they ain't been with daddy. What the fuck daddy gonna do to add to it besides sit there and be like, I'm gonna sit right here. Y'all niggas gonna get it. It's all about the memories. You get on the, the cup with the kids, man. They, like, like they, the wanna, they actually wanna do a cruise. I might do the cruise. I would do the cruise. I'll do, do the cruise. I love cruise. I do Disney cruise. You don't like, you didn't like the cruise? Oh, oh yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Let me. <laughs> they wanna slide <laughs> Disney cruise? <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> you didn't like that. it? Well, I did, but I don't. They just keep going to the same place. I get sick, sick, see the same stuff. Food get old after a, a day or so. That's true. And it's just the same people you see after two days. And then, you know, getting off the sightsee for a minute, but it's like you got to be rushed to get back on the boat. Yeah, the shorter ones can be like that. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah I, I don't know about a long one. I, I did eight days, eight one, days. And I'm like, no, I get homesick. I would rather get off this water. Homesick? For seven days? Yeah. I, you did eight days? I'll fly. Mm-hmm. I'll fly anywhere, but get on some water again. It's only so many times you can get in the ocean. Oh, it's peaceful. Mm-mm. Spoken like a true black person. <laughs> <laughs> you get a lot of weight on a cruise, man. You eat everything. Yeah. You just be eating because it's there. Mm-hmm. You don't be That's hungry. It. Like, damn, a guy guitar, uh, burger would be good at 3 a.m. Oh, man. And then they are fantastic. They are good burgers. Yes. That's what I'm saying. You get home to your house, like, what the fuck? I don't got no guy burgers in this. is a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Whose house is this? Fucking <laughs> 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 you know, around the shit. Hell yeah, you fed up with your shit. Then the Captain Dennis, I, I missed one Captain Dennis. And I was pissed in the motherfucker. Like, and that was the best one, dude. That was one niggas that had lobsters and all types of shit. I was mad. But them, them dinners be just shit. I mean, yeah, I. Had all type of dinner. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That's part of your damn shit. I'm on everything. All them fucking meals. All the shows. <clears throat> I did all that shit. Mm-hmm. I got my money's worth. So yeah, oh, I did, we did some comedy shows, right? Yeah, we did a bunch of stuff. Yeah, we did, we did a lot of shows. I, was, I, still, I didn't miss like our party show. when we went for our, our wedding. Yeah. We had a huge party. Uh, for the way, I think it was like 33 of us. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, it was 33 of us. You were there, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Both of y'all were there. 
<laughs> and it was. <laughs> <laughs> You yeah. the one that we got the stories from. Now. Yeah, our party won. We literally won every contest that they had on the board. They was a hot mess. We won everything, and we were we were acting an ass the whole way. Yeah, cruise was a good Listen, time. I was, was running fun. the whole time. There was a beast after me the whole time. Woo! Yeah, you know the beast. The beast. She might be cool with her. Why are we talking? I, about I don't think she's cool with it. Huh? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> was like, yeah, see, I was playing like football. I was like. Huh? Oh, Due to other parties, <laughs> I was like, oh, mm, I'm not gonna say the name, but yeah. I was like, yeah. I was asking every time, like, mm, that I'm one. <laughs> they all was something else. Yeah, that I, was a they, mess. I could never be. I got mad. I couldn't even just sit with them no more. It was just too many cat. Ooh, and then they. Yeah. We <laughs> <laughs> were there. We were there. Yeah. But you bring people. Yeah. <laughs> and they doing other things, but you're there. It's it mm-hmm. just weird. And I'm yeah, like, all you know what I'm saying? Remember, like, remember, remember that. Like, remember that when he came up to me, like, yo, what's she up like, 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 dude, I don't know. <laughs> and he knew that she was, was feeling me. I was like, dude, I don't know. I'm not wild. messing with that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wild. Skipping down the deck and everything, man. man was His amazing. brother was skipping. Really? Yeah. yeah. Was, he came I'm, up to me. I'm like, bro. One of the people that was at the wedding party who... Like all of us in the room know. Yeah, I, I'm trying to give you a clue who it is, <laughs> but I, because I, I want to protect the the yeah. innocent. Yeah. One of them, but I it's think it's one of the wife's really really close friends. Okay, one that you know, listen to East Side. <laughs> and uh, she bought a, a date, and this dude was weird. Weird. <laughs> was weird. And she, yo, at, we sitting together. She gave me the googly eyes and flirting with me. Why she the dude is right there? I'm like, and he, he over there hollering. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he was. We know. They, they was like, wow. Wow. He was hollering at yeah. yeah, yeah, in her face. It, yeah. And I'm like this. You not go, girl. Let me leave. I, 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 I couldn't do that. I could not be around that. Maybe I, they, I was they mad. Got, they open. Like day yeah, three, day four, no, or no, 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 but then you mad. Then you sitting with the cry yep. and all of this, and I'm like, but you brought it. Like I won't even be yeah. tolerating it. So <laughs> you deal with it, and I was like, I'm out. I couldn't even deal with it no more. That was, yeah. I, mean, yeah. I told Ty, yeah, mm-mm. she going. Mm, mm. <laughs> I had to be next to Malcolm. Like, yeah. Malcolm, protect me, bro, because she's gonna bite me, yeah. and I don't know what I'm gonna turn she up. She want a piece of the head. She doing the dirty bit. No. Yeah. yeah, she 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 was inquiring about the heavy duty. She wanted quite the tam- a few times. She wanted the tamale, is, baby. Is he is single? She, um, is she um? She married now. Right. Uh, is she married? Mm-hmm. Oh, congratulations! Uh, I wish you the best. She married. That's all she's Ish. Married. Ish. <laughs> she married. I. Mm-hmm. Right. But. All right, so let's get back. Long story <laughs> short, I'm sorry. Word. <laughs> I don't even want to get into this dude skipping down the damn poop deck and shit. <laughs> like, this is a grown ass man was skipping. Yo, his heart was like this way. Skipping. Shut up, man. Skipping, Yo, CJ. Serious. Skipping. With his arms like that? Yeah. Yes. Skipping. And he was like a solid dude. Muscular. All of us fellas were sitting there like, bro, what the fuck is he doing? He must have got some. I don't know. He's got some. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a wild time. It's a lot of hooking up that happens on cruises. I had fun because I went by that. myself. Well, they should have, but I don't think they was all stuck up and just, they needed to release, but they brought too much junk with them. <laughs> they couldn't even enjoy the trip. Like, mm-mm. They almost missed the boat. They should have. Oh, oh, sure, sure did. Sure did. Sure did. They should have left them. Fucking around with <laughs> In the Bahamas? Nah, to get on the boat originally. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, they were running behind it. Like, when the boat was blasting the horns, they was, like, <laughs> coming running. Like, they, they almost got left. But, um, yeah, wow. it was a crazy cruise, man. Crazy. Um, and I got married, so, I mean. Yeah, yeah that was so beautiful. That was, right. it, was wow, it was so beautiful. Yeah, yeah it was pretty cool. Nice. It was yeah, pretty cool. Nice. A lot of people were put on the spot. They didn't know what was going on. But, um, huh? Oh. Like me, yeah. He like, tells he tells me <laughs> I'm his best man. Like right there on the beach. On the beach. <laughs> I didn't write any speeches. And the date, 
the day the of the day wedding. Day of. We are we got literally on the beach. And we got transferred over to the house. Yeah. I knew nothing. I'm like, yeah, he didn't have the ring. Huh? Like, he didn't right. have the ring or nothing. Once I told him, I was like, hey, <laughs> hey by the way, you, you best man. Yeah. And then he, he just tells me, think about him or you just want to surprise him. But we at the house or like outside. He didn't even. And he spent the night at my house the night before, and I was. I, the last, the last thing I thought of. Yeah, no bachelor party. Or something nothing. nice about them, you know what I no, mean? No, we had a bachelor party on the cruises. Like before no, no. Um, I think it might have been a week before. Oh. I didn't go to that. One. I don't think yeah, so. it, it, it ain't missed much. We ended up going to. Uh, we ended up going to the flame. Oh, I think oh, we wow. said babes. The flame? They, yeah. they changed names now, right? Yo, no, it's still the flame. Uh, I think it's still the flame. Still blue flames. Yo, that was wild because. Uh, the wife has a family member who's a former NFL player. Oh. So, you know, he balled it out. You know, we went to the VI. I didn't even know the flame had a VIP section. I was like, for real? Absolutely. <laughs> you know, VIP, uh, bottle treatment, all that stuff, which of course I don't drink. So it's like, oh, okay, cool. Nice. I guess. Let me pass this bottle to you, money. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> These Negroes got so wasted, so wasted. And remember, like I said, this dude played in the NFL, so he's probably the only person in the family that's comparable to my size now. You know, he's about six three, three plus, big dude. So we're up in the uh, the VIP section, and he's yelling like, "Yo, bring the bees over here!" <laughs> Not loud. <laughs> big ass dude, and. So he steps right outside the VIP section, and there's a this little girl. She's twerking on the stage and stuff like that. And he sees her, and he looks down, and he's like, "Damn, she got a fat on it, bruh." This man take this motherfucking baseball bat, bam! <laughs> Almost broke the girl down like a fraction. Like her knees buckled and everything when he hit the ass. He was like, "Bam!" <laughs> Damn. You heard the slap over the music, dog. Like he. Aww, man. Yo, so she, of course, she's hurt. She go limp into security. Hey, security come over. <laughs> security wow. come over. Yeah, yeah, like, he big and bad. Walks up to my bed and goes, hey, man. <laughs> um, <yeah. laughs> yeah. He was like, please don't be hit. <laughs> please don't. Please, sir. Please don't hit the exotic dancers. Because <laughs> it's like, at that point, I'm standing there. Then he's there. And then... The wife has a few family members that are kind of kind of diesel a little bit too. So all of us are standing there, and he's like, "Hey, please, please don't be hitting strippers like that, man. That's come on, we got a policy." <laughs> she couldn't get the biggest one in this year. Go get that nigga. I don't know if he was he was swole, but he was like he was like yo height, <laughs> and it was like all of us was up here, <laughs> and, and these cats is like drunk, and I'm the only one sitting there sober, and I'm like. <laughs> I, it's supposed to be my bachelor party However If it comes down to it We're going to all get thrown out together <laughs> only so I don't want to fight But hey I'm the only one who's going to be throwing Like accurate punches, punches right. <laughs> Y'all going to be hitting speakers punches, right. And tables and <laughs> I'm going to be hitting people Man six years <laughs> Yeah wow. 2017 Yeah yeah, man, six years this year. But um, yeah, so that that was absolutely insane. And we ended up, we still ended up getting thrown out. Well, he got thrown out, yeah, and it was like, well, might as well. That, 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 yeah, that's the that's paycheck, right? <laughs> that's the session guy. That's the financial planner on this thing, man. So he go, we all go. Mm-hmm. So, but it was, you know, and anybody I know, you know, well, y'all know me. If I go to a strip club. You know, God bless me with 2020 vision. So, go ahead and walk past me because ain't nothing coming out of my pocket. Yeah. I can see naked stuff across the room. Thank you. I'm good. Like, like I see you. By, right. by the pool table. I'm like, all right. Yeah, saying, all right. I got and 20, 20, 20 singles. And that's all I got to give you. No VIP room? You got more to be. Huh? No VIP room? For what? Who, for me? Yeah. Nah, man. Not if I got it at the house waiting on me. For what? I want some cold, sweaty, wet. A uh, greasy booty dancer on me messing up my shirt. 
Hell no, nah, I'm good. That's a safe, good answer. I'm good. Right no, now. that is the sexy answer. Champagne room. No sex <laughs> in the champagne room. That's the good answer. I'm, I'm good. Okay. I don't. It's no need. Uh, For I me, it's you. no need. It's I, no need. I, I concur. And then what, what's the goal? I should yeah. dance right now. I'm hard. Now I got to sit here and Have bitch in the tennis shit. Talk Have a conversation. She, she talking about her schooling and she still goes to college. You was there when I had to court. <laughs> no conversation, sir. No, you got to learn the hard way. Yeah, you quiet, see yeah. you? No, nigga, I had a conversation with a fine stripper I had a crush on from college. And this nigga was like, yo, you ain't nigga I know get one of the baddest bitches to sit in your lap. Oh, my God. And don't, da- and don't dance. And I'm thinking, oh, yeah, I did get this bitch ignore money. Sure did. Yeah, right. That's what it looked like. <laughs> yeah, she right. She came over and was talking to him. I was like... Go ahead, CJ. What she stand up? What she say? No, no, she was bad. She though. was tough as shit. I like she, chocolate she women with big titties and fat ass. She, she always had. Bad. She had it from get go. So she had. And then it. she she grabbed him by the hand. Was like, come on, let's go. And then she took him somewhere else on the other side of the club. And I'm like, she isolated me like Ella Allison. Okay. <laughs> right. Yeah. Now I'm sitting there. <laughs> this is looking right. Like girls walking by. Hey, you want to dance? Nah, I'm good. Right. You want to dance? Nah, I'm good. After a while, I've been sitting there so long because he been gone forever. Uh, I'm sitting there so long, they ain't even walking past me. Like, they already went in the back and said, yo, table number seven's broke. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even go over there. Don't walk past me. There's chocolate sauce everywhere. He, he yo, dead ass. They didn't walk past him. My mama didn't come out my pocket, yo. I came back and I, they were still walking past. Like, hey, you can walk past now. I'm here. You <laughs> smashed it? Huh? You smashed no, I still didn't smash, but she took me on a date because I had to get that money back. I had to recoup that shit. I told her that shit, too. Like, yeah, see, that's, hey, the, that's the second half of the story. Yeah. The first half, my man comes back, he's yeah. like, yo, she got me. She got me. <laughs> yeah, because she, I'm she like $5 a dance. I was like, oh, that's nothing. So she's sitting on my lap, and she starts dancing. <laughs> Mind you, again, this is a chick I had a crush on in college. I so want to smash. You, you know she, we yeah. know each other. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? So I haven't seen her in a couple yeah. years. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've been waiting to see her naked forever. Here you go. So she naked, bad chocolate, bad. whatever. When I say bad, tough. Yeah. yeah. The way you like it. Yeah, you exactly how I like it. So yeah, I'm, I'm mesmerized. I'm mesmerized. Yeah. Like, she going. Songs are going. I'm not thinking nothing because I'm thinking it's one dance. <laughs> Two hours later. Yeah, sure. It's that bad. I'm thinking it's oh, one man. dance, right? One oh. singular dance. No. This nigga six songs in. <laughs> and he only brought $20. Oh. <laughs> right. Right. In cash. I kept that shit held like fucking, like the author meme. Nigga, I had my hand folded like this. Mm. And she dancing her ass off. And all they doing is going from song. All they playing is verses. Yeah, the, the DJ first verse of every song. Kill, every time the DJ chuka chuka chuka, new song. <laughs> you, didn't, you, didn't kick, you didn't like push you off. I remember. I remember. Oh, they they, played him back. Shout, they were getting them. They, they were getting them. I see. I think <laughs> Boss was out. Rick Ross boss. Like, I remember that shit playing a lot of times that night. Like, he played the fuck out the song. So that nigga played one verse of that. He played the Team Pang show. I'm in love with a stripper. And I knew the song. That's how bad it fuck, I was fucked up. You remember the song? Hell yeah. The motherfucker word played five, uh, all verses. And then at the end of the day, I was like, oh, I gave her five. She said, nah, sweetie, it's 30. Huh? 30 for what? <laughs> So wait, I didn't, I didn't see like, no other bitches come. Got... I said, you, you dance with ghost bitches? Where was the <laughs> other bitches? You had a crew I didn't know about? Where's, where's the other? It was you by yourself, the single One, two, three, four, five. This is five. It's the same, same, same Right. I'm like, yo, what's the same action? What are we talking about? She's yeah. like, no, it's, it's $5 per song. I said, this nigga didn't play the whole song. She's like, oh. <laughs> Did she just play the verses? What, what spot was this, dude? Babes. Babes. This one of my favorite spots. Babes. The b- I like holy boys. I don't like, I don't like the mainstream stuff. So, so she, she got the, she got the, I gave her the money. You know what I'm saying? I, well, reluctant. first he came back, he was like, damn, man, she got me. Where the ATM? I got you. I have all of them. I had 20. She went over my budget. Damn. So she got me. So I gave it to her. You didn't give it to her. I got the number though. A lot of money yeah. in the stripper world. Yeah, that's yeah, that a, a lot, lot of money. That ain't shit. That, not, not, not. Thousands. For the for I'm the like, the batter was gonna get more, but the baby's one of the places like. It may, be a pre- it, may be a pre- it might be a pregnant bitch in it. It might be a really uh, bad, like it's a mixture. Uh, I'm no, no, it's that's off of Fulton. Fulton. Off of Fulton where the hoes at. You remember where Riley's oh, and a Club Wax is across yeah, the street? Club. Yeah. It's down the street. It was literally right across the street mm-hmm. down there. Yeah. Oh, right there on the left. Where the abandoned hotel was yeah. at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a the sex store right now. And then you go down. It's right behind the sex store. A lot of charming shit be on there. Yeah, I've been there a couple times. So they spread the shit open. You know what I mean? So I'm like, yeah, the motherfuckers get open for the money. 
you sound like that. Wow, that's what I'm saying. That's what, you love it. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, Magic City ain't gonna do all that. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm like, right across the street. Absolutely. Magic City ain't doing that. So I, I, I went where, where my menu, where my menu's gonna be fit. You know what I mean? But that bitch got me. Going there because now you gotta pay for parking. I'm like, wait. He you said charge pay me. For you gotta pay for parking. parking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, on the weekend, yeah. there's no parking there. Yeah, it's a, it's I mean, there's that little it's, strip it's, it's right little in front of it. Yeah, now you gotta yeah. get the money. They ain't fixed their parking lot yet. No. Nope. Uh, <laughs> I remember Magic City was 25, <laughs> and I said I ain't see a titty yet. 25. And they was like, yeah, it's another 25 at the door. I'm like, it's 50 dollars. I ain't see what not one nipple. And then yeah. Madison City really patrol you with that shit about the two, you know, two item minimum. minimum. Yeah. yeah. But I don't think, but was Babies on us like that about the, about the two minimum? Mm-mm. Right. Mm-mm. So, you know, again, she got me. I, we went out on a date and she paid for the date. But that was, that was. Did uh, anything happen on the date? Uh, just some, some kissing and heavy, heavy petting and. Not $30 uh, worth. No, it wasn't $30 worth. <laughs> Fuck that shit. It wasn't $30, $30 worth. I hope you had uh, $30 worth for Applebee's or wherever y'all went. It was, it was, it was some bullshit. Cheesecake factor. Mm. No, it was nah, definitely not she's getting back. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, that was yeah. she was. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, I don't want you to not respect me. I said, bitch, I just saw you butt ass naked in the strip club. What, you <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what respect are we aiming for right now? See, you got With all due respect. Like that, that's your work. That's not you. Yeah. That's what you do for work. Like, I don't, yeah, I don't know. On the first date, like, technically, it's like the second one to me. Yeah. <laughs> <It's just laughs> right. I came out of pocket uh, the first technically, time. Technically, I've already been the third date. Right, so right. It was titties right. and stuff like yeah. that. I mean, what are we talking about here yeah, at this point? No. But uh, yeah, I, I, I really wanted that one. But yeah, she got me on that one. <laughs> and Malcolm witnessed that shit. I was like, God damn, that dog, she got was me. That hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting in the strip club laughing by. Yeah, they extra, don't they? Huh? Don't the ATM charge you extra? Yeah, yeah like $10. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. And, then, and, and I was, you, you can't be told like, yo, I'm going to go outside and go to the ATM outside with cheap. But nah, nigga. Thanks. That's not how that works. It's a guard by the door. <laughs> if you go out, you got to pay to come back. Yeah. They ain't going to let you out. No, you can't get out. Because all they got to do you is get a head nod like that nigga owe him money. That is, they know what it is. <laughs> that nigga right there. <laughs> no, the, the nigga frowning. Yeah. The nigga frowning over there in the corner. Yo, you in the back washing dogs and shit. Oh, yeah. Washing various things out of dogs. Word. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah. Interesting. How do we get okay. I, don't think, I, don't think I've been, I don't think I've been in a club since then. Uh, yeah, for me, I don't think I've been in a strip club since then. That was my last. I think I made it one more time after that. That was it. You talking about the babe? Yeah. Uh-huh. Period. I think I bailed with the babies and then I never went to the show club again. That was no, that's not true because what's that before or after his bachelor party? My bachelor party was 20, 2006. Bro. Oh, so never mind. Yeah, yeah. that was only after that. I've been divorced since 2017. Yeah, that's right after that. So, yeah. All right, so back. <laughs> let's let's go back to the topic. Yeah, I was like, how did we get here? That's, yeah, <laughs> way off. I'm telling you. All right. What was, what was the top so priority? back to basically some. Uh, what what priority are you in your house? I thought we were still in spiders. I'm sorry. No, we were talking about spiders and fucking <laughs> rats and shit. Um, all right. So as far as uh, the priority, do you get upset when somebody that you think uh, either you should be higher than or the person that you're with? doesn't keep you in the same regard that you believe you're in. Um, say for instance, the if it's the the significant other and you think that you should be held in a higher regard than the kids in the house, would you be upset if it, at that point you're not? Naturally, yeah, I think I would. Will you, will you express that to the person? <clears throat> or yes. do you feel like a, a dirt bag that's, because that's you're saying, hey, I, I should be a higher priority than the kids. There's a way of presenting it. But yeah, I think I, I, I would say it after a while. How do you present it? Uh, just say, hey, man, you know, I, I think when it comes to how the household's ran with me taking care of a lot of this stuff, I would like to be considered first. Like, you know what I mean? Are you going to say that to her or are you send out a text message? No, I'm going to say <laughs> face to face. Somebody you live with, you going to send them a text? Hey, hey. new generation. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not gonna send no text, but I'm always gonna okay. say face to face. What but about I, you, Michelle? You gotta see facial expression. Um, if it's over the kids, I won't be too upset if it's the kids, but it depends on what you're doing. Right. But um, yeah, not if it's the kids, but yeah. But what if it's anything? What if it's um, 
you say it's, I don't know, everybody celebrates holidays different, so I ain't even gonna call that a holiday. Yeah. But say it's something like an anniversary or something, and you want to do something special with the person, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden they're like, yeah, but I already promised the kids that I was gonna take them to Six Flags. So I want to do that. And they're looking forward to it, so sorry. You, what you want to do is gonna have to wait, because. Insert they fucking go kids here. right here. <laughs> <laughs> Real hard to say because you don't want to disappoint your children, and then you always can do something later with your spouse. You don't necessarily have to do it that day, or you can do it another day and then plan out again more. You know, without the kids and everything, they're taken care of. You don't have to worry about school that time. What if it seems that that constantly keeps happening? Though? Then you have to have a talk with that person because either they're not really being that considerate, or right. they're just not caring. You know, they just. They're just doing it and not thinking. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so how would that talk go? Like, say it's been three, th- at least three things, and they've blown you off because something else has came up. Nah. I would have to catch you in the mist because sometimes you're going to catch that person. They don't know if you tell them later on. They'd be like, what are you talking about? Uh-huh. Right, uh-huh. yeah, I don't know. So I'm not that doing that. That didn't go down like right. that. Right, so I'm, the moment it happens, then I'm saying, see, this right here is what I said. Gonna have to talk that makes about. sense. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then we can put it out there because you know sometimes y'all have a niche, you know, y'all not thinking because y'all don't think as much as you know. So you, you generalize the guys that basically saying we don't remember. Well, okay, some of y'all might do. Some I don't, of y'all I don't might remember, remember but you know, but yeah, you just gotta catch them right there at that moment and then explain to them so they'll see it because they might you know, they might not see it. And what if they come back and tell you you're just being overly sensitive? I mean, come on. You and your family. These are the kids. Come on, you got to take the back seat to the kids. Then I'm going to start showing you what you're doing to me. (laughs) And we're going to see if you're, not going to be just bad, but I'm going to just show you. And then when when it happens, then I'm going to say, see how you, when you start complaining, then that's when I'm going to bring it back up to you again. Now, remember when we had the same conversation when the shoes on the other foot? So, yeah, I do like that. I like to get people right there. Oh, yeah. That's the best time to get them. Yeah. Because then, like you said, they get amnesia. That's not just guys. It's, yeah, I'm okay. yeah, Women do, too. too. Like, oh, I don't know what you're talking You know. You remember. Let me, mm-hmm. let me, get, yeah, let me get amnesia, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. We can't. They don't. Okay. So, basically, nobody likes it, but um, the only fix that I'm hearing out of the thing is to, well, like Shelly was saying, approach him. Yeah, I'm I'm setting him up for the next one. Oh, okay. He gets real quiet, then he starts interrogating other people and whatnot. <laughs> I'm just so, asking questions. I'm trying to understand open-ended questions. That's the the, the financial plan I made, you know? I'm trying okay. to understand. Okay. But, so in a case where, like um, Shell was saying, <clears throat> if, because we all know how much you love your daughters, and if your significant other's like, you know what, you do too much for those girls, um, they'll be all right. I want to do something with you. Okay. What are you going to say to a person who says that to you? Um, I would definitely have to consider the, the, you know, what they're saying and respect that because at the end of the day, my parents taught me that our kids are only borrowed, right? Hmm. For a short time. Because sooner or later, they're going to grow up, have their own life, have their own kids, and they're going to fly away from the house. Mm-hmm. Where your spouse or your significant Them other never leave. God <laughs> dog. <laughs> well, in the, I don't even Spanish, get my own room no in, more. In the Spanish mm-hmm. house, you know, we like we gotta gotta go. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, you know, I'm gonna make sure that my spouse is taken care of. You know, most important. And I, I, I expect the same return. Of course, we're both gonna make sure the kids are always safe. But our priorities is to make each other happy because if we're both happy, then it's just gonna flow straight to the kids. Oh, that sounds beautiful. Nice poet. That, but I know. That's how I was raised. That 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 yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, you dealing with other people outside of your head, and that ain't how the cookie ever crumbles. That's, that, that, that's just the Latin culture. I don't, I'm only gonna go by that is, what I was true. taught. And yeah, my mom would say, "Kids don't ask to be here, so you gotta take care of them." So, yeah, it's absolutely true. So that's why I'm the way I am about my mm-hmm. kids. That's why you Spanish kids are freaking spoiled. That's what the problem is. Spoiled? Y'all are spoiled, bro. We're I'm loved. Spoiled. We're loved. We're loved. Nah, we're loved, too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
We'll love too. Okay. <laughs> it's just our parents had to be in the hood. <laughs> you in the hood too? I was in no hood. I, nigga, I was definitely in the hood. No, strong y'all hood. weren't in no hood. I was. You, you saw the pictures I put up. I was definitely in a project. I'm from Fordham Road, bro. Yeah, it's that's hood. the hood. Hood. Yeah. I survived. Yeah. Because survived. Fordham Road in the Bronx. In the Bronx. Oh, yeah. So yeah. section in the Bronx. Yeah, it, it's the least amount of crack. In the Bronx, <laughs> I used to walk That's out my house at least and, and just hear the crack bottles stepping on it. My parents used to be like, "Be careful." I mean, that's all of us in New York. But that, but that, that was a way of life, especially in the late eighties. Yeah. But that's true. all right, and I, I bring that up because I, I I got a small scenario here. All right, let me just ask you, Shell, where are you from? Are you from Georgia or the South, or where are you from? St. Louis. Okay, so Midwest. you might think a little different. Midwest. 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 Oh. Yeah. Okay. okay. You ain't paying attention in geography class. Bro, I, I had a Midwest. That's the Midwest. That's the first thing I said. Where else would it be? Nelly. Like Midwest cooking, they use a lot of corn and beans. He's he would go. He relates yeah. it to food. He God would. Damn. He I food, the food <laughs> atlas over here. The show, man. He pinpoints the food. Come on. What's St. Louis known for? Midwest style? He's like the ribs. Right. Yeah. The, the Kansas City. You want like, yeah, the ribs and the Chinese food. It's like. Oh, yeah, have good Chinese? Chinese? I didn't know for that. I know about the ribs, not the Chinese food. Oh, Georgia Chinese. Yeah, I don't have no good Chinese food. Not fucking with New York. I used to bring it back to my friends. They used to love it. Which I'm yeah. go what y'all Chinese food would taste like? Word. That shit look like. What, what, what's your meat? It what's the like protein they cook? Peas here? and carrots. We don't put peas oh, and God. carrots in yeah. our Chinese. Y'all don't it, put the right protein. We got fried rice. Beef and they chicken. They, or, they, they even have duck Pork. fried rice. Duck? You see what I'm saying? Duck? What the fuck? What the fuck is a duck? duck? That's some gourmet with Chinese with restaurant. Rice with gravy. Good. Yes. What kind of Chinese food the, is that? Everyone knows. The only protein that you put in Chinese food is rat and cat. No, not. No. That's that yes. red meat. And we call it pork and shrimp. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and we like to throw Fu Young at the end of it. Or Lao Mein. <laughs> <laughs> and it got to be cat or rat. Or the no, soup. Primo no. Sang Young Guy. Really, nigga? She said, "Wow, dude. gravy! You, <laughs> you really went there, you nasty dog." Really, really that was That's a twist. Back, Chinese it's food not, with gravy? It's a duck gravy that they put over your you duck put sauce. Is it's that the egg food? It's a gravy. It's, it's a peanut yeah. gravy, I think. That's not. It don't have peanut flavor. You sure? Is it brown? No, nah, it, it's duck gravy. They take that duck oil, mix it with the flour okay. and stuff, and, and it's pretty good. I'm telling you. I had something have peanut time. gravy. It was good too. Well, here's the reason why I asked. Um, and this was on my 40th birthday. Mm-hmm. I had a, I, I like to do my big number birthdays at a park. So mm-hmm. you already invited. So don't even ask you, you in there. But <clears throat> so at the park, I remember that, you know, I had some, some friends and coworkers that showed up and they had kids and they're from the South. And when it was time to eat, Oh, I went to the front of the line. I remember that. And they was getting on me, talking about what are you doing? And I'm like, that was your birthday. Right? Yeah, that was the first thing. I was like, the hell you mean we're doing? This right. is my birthday. This is my party. Yeah, but you know you're supposed to feed the kids first. You what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait a minute. In what universe do the kids eat before Southern the cust- parents eat? Southern customs. Well, you would eat, but. I think everybody should fix their own kids' food, but right, the person right. of the house, I mean, if it was a party, you definitely should have gotten you know, yeah, Right, first, but, but, and I was I telling them, I was like, no, the, the parents, you fix your plate, get your stuff, and then you fix your mm-hmm. kids' plate. Mm-hmm. But they were like, no, you're supposed to fix the kids. You got to make sure the kids eat first, they and then fix yours. <laughs> I was like, where, 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 where y'all from? What the? <laughs> you gonna have that burnt hot dog laugh? <laughs> right, you gonna right. Like my birthday. But even with that, I've never even heard of that concept before I then. And that was my 40th birthday. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. And I've been in the South since 2002. That's definitely a custom. Yeah, yeah, Kids eat first. That is insane. How, That's when you said the priority. First thing I thought about, all right, am I, are we counting the kids eat first mentality? All of that. So, yeah, deep down that, you know, a lot of that shit is embedded in, in the Bible Belt South. So, they're going to be like, yeah, the kids eat first. And, and apparently the gotta, Spanish North. No, we just take care of our kids. We're not talking about, like, I don't know. First. Heavy Duty just shook his head. Yeah, what he just said. No, we go make a plate. We got two plates, one for the kid, one for us mm-hmm. at the same yeah. time. At the same time. Do it That's it. We do it at the same yeah. time. Mm. Every time I come to your house, I make my plate and whatever the kids' plate at the same time. Yeah, but he be holding like seven plates at one time. He so. sure do. <laughs> he, like, he sure do. 
<laughs> That's why I asked him every this, time I had something, I'm like, hey man, you bring them kids? Yo, and then he was taking <laughs> shit. Bro, he, he I, I got to shit home. Clothes. I got to go to the store first if you bring the kids. He's ready to take it home. You got a lot of kids. He comes with his own pan. He be coming with his own pan to take shit home. I'm telling you. Nigga, that's a Last time he came with a laundry basket. Like, this nigga had, like, I was like, wow. basket, shut up. He had a laundry basket and he had the to go trays. From, oh, from Ted's Montana Grill. I didn't lying. even know they I still had those. Wow. Wow. <laughs> 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 I had no damn laundry basket. Yo, he had a laundry basket. Like, he left out the front door, and I heard the, the bag dragging. I was like, what the hell is that? Who's dragging across my floor? Michael would never let food, me though. leave with that type of food. He left with everything I don't eat. The macaroni salads yeah. and, the, and the stuffing. I'll eat those. Yo, he was killing. I'd eat all of it. Killing. Like, there was no dip left. Me was it two, tur- two turkeys? A go. It I usually would. is two turkeys on Thanksgiving because yeah. I'll fry one and then for the people who like that traditional dry yeah. ass bird, they can eat that shit. Nah, yeah. fried turkey. Yeah. Fried turkey huh? me, please. Fried turkey is the way to I go. Don't, I don't care for turkey. No? If you, if I, I, don't, yeah, I do you turkey do. wings, but I won't do a whole turkey. We don't eat turkey. Well, if I like that fair drums, the drum, turkey drum. You don't like that? Oh, That's wow. just, no. I do a wing. Okay. <laughs> Next time I fry a turkey, you gotta try just a little bit. And trust me, it's only gonna be a little bit because I don't give up a lot. With the first time he did it, I will fight you over. I'll put it on the fork. Now here you go. That's mm, yours. I like ham. I don't. We don't oh, like yeah. family. Money. I make a mean ham. Oh really? Did I bring a ham for that Thanksgiving? The glaze? Cause we, uh-uh, we had ham at your your crib. I don't know. You did one Thanksgiving. I don't think you no, brought a ham. No, I think I brought it. You did bring a ham. Yeah. I, think I don't pay first. attention. Once the turkey's fried, I'm done. I, I put the pineapple, <laughs> over with. the cherry. Because you were still making the it at honey, the house. I remember. Cinnamon, that. nutmeg. Oh. I, 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 he is the heavy duty kitchen. I love to cook. <laughs> I really enjoy cooking. As you can tell, he got the receipts. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was a fat joke, fam. That was a fat joke. Okay, body shame. <laughs> Whatever, then you start. All three of us playing. <laughs> what, you, what you doing, bro? Okay. Ain't none of us in here talking about eating protein shakes three times a day. Mm. All of us eat. Oh, man. All right, so you guys, so I, I, I'm, I'm trying to understand it because w- the way I was raised is pretty much how airplanes get stuff done. You know, you put the mask on your own face before you put the mask on the kid's face. And that's how I was raised. Like, the kids had no priority. The kids were, you know, I, I heard all this stuff growing up. Uh, children should be seen and never heard. I and heard that too. You know, all that, that old school that old school stuff. When it came to nutrition, though, it was different. Yo, we used to eat public school lunch every summer, though. Yeah. I'm so, just, I'm I mean, just telling you, that's nutrition the wasn't really that big when uh, we was growing up. When I say nutrition, I mean... Generally speaking, food. When it comes to food, that all that's just different. Outside of that, yeah, kids is dead last and everything else. But it came to eating, they gotta eat. So I mean, yeah, they, they gotta they eat, eat, but who do they eat in front of? That's what I'm saying. That's, and According to you guys, like, they eat the same time you do? Mm-hmm. I pack their plate at the same time. Wow. And you the same way? What? <laughs> <laughs> Anytime the kids gotta eat and you gotta eat at the same time. No, I mean, we same time, like I said, I'm cooking. So if I'm cooking, I don't, I didn't really feed my kids fast food. Right. So I cook mostly food. So once I feed them, then I fed them first because it was just me. Mm-hmm. So I made sure they was good at that time. And then I would eat Yeah. Okay. So if you were cooking back in the days when you were married or whatever, would the, uh, would, would the hubby get the big piece of chicken or what? I would cook for I, I cooked all the time. When mm-hmm. he came home, he didn't have to worry about anything. But I fixed his plate. It was already ready. All he had to do was take a bath and mm. relax. I've never had that. I never had that. Life, yeah, man. I never had that treatment. Like go, I dated, go take I a bath and I have your plate ready. Never had that. I was like, where the fuck is these females? Are like what you just said. I can't yeah. find them. One of my exes was gonna come back. They, they, <laughs> they gotta come but, for themselves. No, I mean I don't know. I just think I just think that's how you should do it. You know, because a lot of people don't do it, but. I love being married. Yeah. 
Most women be like, nigga, what's wrong with your hands? I'm good with that. And he cooked, but I didn't like his cooking. Right. I always made sure, but he was going there and cooked. But cook weird. But what he clean afterwards? <laughs> <laughs> now he was a neat freak. Now he was, oh man, oh, like, yeah, he was God. definitely better like than me. Man. He Jeez. would organize something every other day, just yeah. change up something. Me, I cleaned, but I didn't have to because he did most of that. He didn't have to. He just liked doing that. But I did everything. What do you mean he cooked weird? What do you do? Weird seasonings, right? Adding, and some yeah. stuff, and the kids loved it, but I just couldn't. In your mind when you're yeah. just used to certain, watching them, right? Yeah, flavor like, or spices. Yeah, and that's putting like, chicken spices on steaks. Yes, mm-hmm. or no Put, cinnamon. Like he used to season his food with cinnamon. What? Yeah, don't ask what, me. Was he that's, Indian? No, he's that, from that's in, Alabama. He was from. Oh, Alabama. it's kind of snow. So, I mean, I, 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 I can't fault him. I mean, yeah, the cinnamon is crazy, but I'm the type. I put freaking lemon season on damn near everything. Like especially my vegetables. I love like a lemon. Pepper Zest. on on like a broccoli pepper. on asparagus. I, I like it. That you way. eat vegetables? Like yeah. lemon pepper steamed. I thought or, he said he don't eat grass food. I thought he's, I swore he didn't eat vegetables. Food. I was like, this ain't gonna get no. That's not my main diet. You know, I I be shitting bricks if all I ate was proteins, dog. I gotta eat some greenage every so often. Your wife got to you, bro. I don't remember him eating green. I've never seen him eat greens. I don't either. In all these years, I know him. And and see, that's another thing. Because, you know, the the first two wives I had, they couldn't cook. (laughs) Yeah, I already knew about that. Yeah, I already knew about that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, My wife, yeah, she she could throw God dog down. That crab dip she makes. That what dip? I need that recipe. That what dip? Huh? The crab dip that she makes? Oh, yeah. That dad in the buffalo dip. talking about my wife seafood, bro? Her crab dip. <laughs> the one that she makes. <laughs> in the oven. I said, he he liked to be all up. You, he you like to be all up in that dip. That's what, that's what I said. That's funny. I can't stand it. I love it, man. I can't stand it. I, I, that and the you seafood pasta. Like shellfish? Huh? You don't like shellfish? I, I would love shellfish, but she don't use shellfish. She used an imitation? Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Oh, my heart. Total secret. See, Uh-oh. you should have known. She goes, you should have known that by the known. taste. You, Mr. You know, ingredients. I, I realized that my neck was in there. <laughs> nah, nigga, you just said that was your favorite. You can't take it back now. Down. It said everything else that she was adding. No, nah, let me stop. Let me stop. Nah, she she gets this um the, this actual the blue crab, uh, blue crab, oh. crab stuff. But I you know, but that that her shrimp and crab with seafood salad. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's that little fake. That that, 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 that what is that? It's like cod. I don't know. Like they, it's some fish that they press and then they put artificial seasons to make it taste like crab. That's what she's putting in the macaroni salad. Yeah. Damn, not like that shit. Me and Jasmine like that shit. Your whole family like that, man. No, y'all, we don't all like that. Y'all niggas literally took like a it. bucket. Well, my it. kids don't like that. Just me and Jasmine. Well, then both y'all agree that I took a bucket. Yeah. Well, she's like, watching right now. So we love that's our ship. All right. Who, who Jazz is watching? Yes. Yep. That's our ship. Jazz. Shout out to Jazz. Yeah. What's mean? up, that thing? Hey, Jazz. That's my girl <laughs> right there. That That's the easy right there. She still what? Of course she. She better be. She just got there. Well, I don't know if they got breaks. You know what I mean? Uh, They they got like a hundred breaks. They 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 just had homecoming. Okay. Yeah. So, but yeah, the foods that I like to eat, I I love lemon, (laughs) like a lemon zest, and and I like really overdo it when it comes to asparagus. You eat mayonnaise? No. Mustard? Yeah. Spicy brown mustard. That's it. Unless I'm I'm bait. Preparing like a smoke something like if I'm smoke a, mm-hmm. a pork butt or ribs or something like that, then I'll use regular stick. Yeah, stick. I'll use your yeah. right. And I just started doing Did that you know before. That? I was like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. barbecue wise, they put mustard on yeah, the meat, it out, rub it out, and then you put your yeah. chicken stick I to the. I seen my sister do that, and I'm like, why would you put mustard? Right, right. slathering it on. Right. And, and, I'm like, mustard. and I'm thinking, are we gonna taste that? I was mm-hmm. some, but no, it actually. Yeah, you know, they smoke it and cook it long enough so you don't taste it. Yeah. yeah. I was amazed. I, was okay. I yeah. still hadn't tried it yet because I don't think like that yet. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I do like that. yeah, it's fantastic. The wife got me a smoker a few years ago, and I, boy, I, I, I tear that thing up. I tear it up. Like ribs, pork butts. I, I'm getting ready to get a chicken rack so I can hang chicken in it. And oh, the little, that the little wheel thing? Uh uh-uh, uh, not a rotisserie, like actual tr- uh, chicken legs. Okay. So it's like a, a tall rack, and you actually put the legs in, and you let it smoke the whole time. So let her invite me, man. Let me know. I'll do that. I'll invite everybody when we do it. 
Um, yeah, we got Thanksgiving coming up. I don't know. I want to do something for Thanksgiving, but the wife was like, I don't feel like being bothered. She always said that to the last minute. Yeah. And then she stresses I just talked about it. And she's then cooking she, it all, she'll, all she'll by herself. Invite everybody too. three days before, and he'd be like, oh, damn, nigga, I made plans already. Now I feel bad. I can't yeah. go. And then she'll cook for, like for an army. Yeah. She does that every year. And I'm like, babe, you said you didn't want nobody to come. Yeah. Thanksgiving's on Thursday. Why are you starting to cook Monday night? Like, what are we doing? Like, there's nobody coming. Well, I invited my uncle and I invited <laughs> my cousin. And then my friends said they're going to stop by and see what's up. And then I got to do this exchange with my other friends. And and then, like, the second to last day, she'll say, oh, I, I bought up a lot of food to cook. So I know I said that we weren't going to have anybody. But Every if you year. want, you can invite your friends. And I'm like... <laughs> Last minute. And literally, when Last y'all get minute, the call yeah. from me, it's like when she says that. Yeah, they would be And then y'all looking at me like, right, nigga, really? I already made plans. Yeah, I already made plans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. the other yeah. side yeah. of yeah. Georgia. Right. You know what I mean? At that point. I'm like, bro, I started talking about Thanksgiving in October. Because exactly. my two holidays is 4th of July and Thanksgiving. Everything else out of the year, I'm like, eh, if we do something, if we don't, I really don't care. But those two holidays, those are my favorite out of everything. And so I literally, I just started talking about it today and I got the, oh, I don't feel like being bothered, all these people and everybody wants to bring stuff and nobody brings stuff and then Cliff comes with all his kids and they he eat like locusts shit. and they eat up everything. He brings he brings that that shit. Shit. And when we tell Cliff to bring stuff, all he brings is an appetite. I, that's it. Like, um, I bring and, shit. And shit. Like for one person, like, <laughs> shit, yo, you see all these people here? Nigga, I bring more than a shut up. That's it. <laughs> Okay, we got so, bitches. That's you. Yeah. All right, so we gonna get ready to wrap up. All right. But I just want to get this thing closed up because we already ran kind of late, and I apologize. Um, so at the end of the day, we all want to be the priority, mm-hmm. but uh, we understand that there's times when we're not gonna be. Mm-hmm. Yep. Is that a safe assumption? Yep. yep. And we should be fine with that. For the sake of saving time, okay. Right. To a degree. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I was going to say, I don't agree with none of y'all. I want to be priority all the time. I get mad when I'm not. But we ain't going to talk about that. I'm going to stay in the moderator mode for today. No. I'm very special. My mother had me tested. Right. So, we... <laughs> Yeah, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> those, those, those results came yourself. back. Was just having the driver. <laughs> Laugh if you want, but it was just I had a chauffeur. My bus had just me on it, so I do. And they pay. let you put a helmet on for safety. <laughs> Of course. What, you didn't wear a helmet for safety? Right. Right. Nothing right. else. No right. numbers. You didn't wear a helmet for safety? What? I'm not on a bus. How, how, did, how did you say safe? <laughs> Next thing you know, you're going to say that you did all your homework without a crayon. <laughs> like, what the? <laughs> what do you mean? You had the big lines. <laughs> <laughs> Stay on the dotted line. You're damn right. With the dotted line in the middle. Hell yeah. I don't care. Nah. <laughs> y'all know what y'all dealing with when you're dealing with King Bear. Anyway. So we're going to get ready to get up out of here. Hope you guys like the show. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, make sure that you, you turn that bell on so you know when more episodes come out and when everything's released. And we're going to wrap this up. Unless anybody got anything else? Nah. Good. All right. Well, like I said, we're going to wrap it up. I've been King Bear in the building. Comedian C.J. Charles. Say okay. The one and only heavy duty. You. <laughs> So with all the pregnant pause. Now you gotta see what you gotta deal with. Who the fuck closed their eyes and said last part of the day? <laughs> right, like he, like he constipated heavy duty. Yeah, like, like, but we Come got on, y'all kill it. We, we got you, we got you. Got yeah, last week y'all said he was lackluster. Now so he, he brings the, the okay. theatrics, and now you're gonna okay. laugh. Okay. Come on. Yeah, we got you. Just for now, I'm gonna put the echo on it when he says it. I like that. I like that. Now, that nigga sound like a mirage. You feel like I'm a wrestler. Mirage. Cutie, 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 cutie. All right. And after all that, we're going to get up out of here, y'all. All right, peace. Peace.